We are just going crazy, crazy with vignettes today, folks. You can't even handle it. You can't even handle it. What's up, YouTube fam? Javier Mercedes here for another Premiere Pro tutorial. What are we doing today besides wearing a shirt the same color as my drywall in the light behind me? Well, we are covering vignettes and how to properly apply them inside Premiere Pro. Let's go ahead and take it to the computer. All right, if you are into Premiere Pro and video editing things, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and hit up some vignettes. One of the things that a vignette does is it draws attention to the center of the piece by making the outsides darker. There's two ways that you can add a vignette really fast. Easiest way is if you see this little panel up here, you hit color, then that will bring up Lumetri options over here. Down at the bottom, you will have vignette, and immediately when you start hitting the amount, it will start adding a vignette. Now, pro tip, take your feather and go all the way down to zero. It gives you an idea of what you're actually doing with that vignette, what the shape is, and how big or small you are making that vignette. Once you have an idea of where you want your vignette to hit, in most cases I like the oval, but because this label is circle, I'm gonna go with the circle. I will feather that, boom. Another pro tip, whenever you're using the Lumetri settings within Premiere, you can always go back and look at the raw footage and A-B test it to see what you've done by hitting the zero on the keypad. Raw footage, vignette, raw footage, vignette, raw footage, and yeah. So if that isn't a hotkey for you, all you gotta do is hit option command K, and that will bring up your keyboard shortcuts. What you wanna look for is bypass Lumetri color effects. So all you do is type in bypass Lumetri color effects, and look, my shortcut is there. If you wanted to make it that, you hit zero, so on and so forth. For the next clip, right here we have a straight up and down bottle. Same wine company, Resign Wine. Go over here to my vignette, bring it down, so let's say I have something like that, which is kind of nice, but notice how the bottle isn't in the center. There's more negative space over here than over here. Another way that we can do this, we go over here and new item, black video. We bring that black video on, extend this out. So I'm just gonna take this opacity down. You can actually draw the mask of what you want. So let's say I want this to be the mask. I'm going to invert it, feather that out. Now you can see how this really makes that thing pop. Here's the one just using Lumetri. Looks nice. There's the other one where it's black on the other sides. But what's really cool about this, let's say we nest it. And let's say you needed to add titles. And now you have this nice fade to black right here. You see this on Netflix, on everything. They're fading to black on the sides so they can leave room for their titles in this negative space. If you ever framed a shot where you had somebody in the middle but then you needed to switch them over to the side so you could put titles over there, this is one way to do it. So like right here, it gives me the chance to be like, yep, pretty cool. Moving on, with this one we can do that same black video. And notice how this is over here on the side. Looks nice, but let's say we wanted to get it over there. All we gotta do is go on this black video, hit opacity like that, invert it, move it over, let's expand it just a smidge, and then just feather it. And now you could do that same thing where you needed some titles or you didn't really need some titles, but now you take the opacity of this black video and you go down with it just a smidge, now you got a nice soft vignette over that cup in slow motion. Looks so beautiful. Cool. Let's say I wanted to zoom in on this and put the vignette just on the cup. Now see how there's nothing going on over here? That's because it's not nested. It's adding a vignette to all this stuff over here, but you're not seeing it because it's zoomed out. What you gotta do is make it a nest. Click here, nest. Boom. Now all you gotta do is add your vignette to that nest. Oh boy, look at that vignette. Cool beans. All right, here's another situation where you might wanna add a vignette. Let's say you have a whole project done and you have all of these clips on a timeline, but you want to add a vignette to all of them. What would take a while is to copy and paste all of that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add an adjustment layer. Go to your project bin, new item, adjustment layer, Hit OK, drag that on top. Just for this example, let's say all of these clips are a huge timeline of clips. On this adjustment layer, you can add the vignette. 
boom. So now as I cycle through, that vignette carries over from each clip and it's on top of every single clip here. It's pretty neat. So the last tip I have for adding a vignette is actually not using Lumetri at all. It's using an effect called Circle. You can do some pretty crazy things with it. Now let's go to our effects tab. Another pro tip, if you are going to your effects tab inside Premiere Pro, always use the shortcut keys Shift 7 brings up your effects tab. You will thank me later. You want to look up circle. I have circle here. I drop it on. And what does that do? Whoa, look, we have a white circle. That's pretty cool, right? Good job, Javi. Let's make this radius bigger. To bring back our footage, we go to something like stencil alpha. And oh, there's our footage. It's trying to peek through. We can move our center of our circle here. That's actually kind of cool right there. But I'm going to make this radius pretty big. And ooh. The circle gives you the option of just moving your vignette wherever you need it to and you have this nice control over your vignette. Where things can get really cool is down here in these options. So instead of doing something like stencil alpha, let's do something like screen. I'm going to invert it, but let's say we wanted a red vignette. Boom, there's a red vignette. You can take your opacity down and do something like that. It doesn't really work in this circumstance. Maybe if we did something like that, and then we take our opacity down even more, you can get really cool with it. Like, let's do an overlay. And there, that's kind of cool. That kind, of, that kind of matches the wine. Let's take this a step further. So what if I were to add a texture? So I downloaded some stuff from Pexels and Cute Stock Footage, great resources for copyright free footage for you to use. So it's not a paid advertisement from them. They, I just love their material. I got this wood texture from Pexels. I'm gonna load it in. Might shrink this down, something like that. Then I go over here. Let's take our red circle. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it onto this. There's the red circle. Now again, it's applying this red circle to this very big material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually nest this. Then I'm going to apply the red circle to that. I'm going to delete this one. So here we have the nested sequence. But you might say, okay, that's cool, but it's not, you can't see the resigned wine anymore. So how do we alleviate that? Well, Stencil Alpha brings that back in. So now we have this wood texture in this vignette. Now I don't really know what you would be using this for, but it's a, it's a cool little technique. Let's go ahead and take this further though. So now let's add some movement to this wood. So I'm gonna take this and just keyframe this movement from side to side just a little bit to give it gusto. And let's see how, what that does. Ooh, see how the wood is moving? Let's go back in and let's add a light leak on top. This old film look. And let's change the blend mode to screen. So now we got this going on. Let's see what that does. That's kind of cool. It's another way to utilize a vignette. <laughs> What's, what we could even do is take this and now let's add the vignette from the Lumetri on the circle itself. And we are just going crazy, crazy with vignettes today, folks. You can't even handle it. You can't even handle it. I'm gonna change that. Oh look, we could change that vignette to like a bluish color with some red teal exposure. Whoa, you, that makes it almost look like ice. Resign, wine, ice. Isn't that so cool? Man, ah, oh, I love applying effects like this. It's so cool. You never know what you're gonna get. Let's take the saturation out, then you get this gray look. So neat. So neat. Let's do some no contrast. Maybe some shadows, bring that saturation back in, but then do, I don't know, green. Go down with it even more, and then it's just like a little bit in there. That's pretty neat. So there you guys have it. If you like this tutorial, leave me a like. Leave me a dislike. Tell me how I can improve my tutorials for you in the future. I really hope this was helpful for you. If you're still watching, thank you for watching all the way through. All that watch time helps me get to that thousand subscribers and that 4,000 hours of watch time. Make that YouTube money. I hope this helps you on your creative journey and I will see you guys in the next one. 
Peace.